Co-op is unveiling a new corporate social responsibility program. It's called Co-op Purpose, a great name. To tell you more about this new program, Samantha Paxson and a few guests are going to join us momentarily. But first, we have a short video that provides some background on Co-op's commitment to purpose. So let's roll the video. What corporate social responsibility programs are really about, they're really about defining the answer to the question why. What is the purpose of the organization beyond the products? How else do we help people? So for credit unions, it's really it's about building on what the movement has been doing for years. And that's using business to help people instead of the other way around. We launched Co-op Purpose to help credit unions continually advance their mission of empowering people's financial well-being. It is a dynamic, evolving program made up of turnkey solutions with a variety of purpose-driven partners designed to create real impact within communities. In one partnership, we're connecting credit unions with a trusted community hub, their local libraries, where they'll provide financial education tools to communities in a whole new way. This, in fact, came straight from a ThinkPrize idea. In another purpose partnership, we're connecting credit unions with UB, where, along with colorful school supplies, underprivileged classrooms will be given financial literacy kits to help them succeed. Another program that we're very excited about is working with OpenIDEO. We are connecting credit unions with Open and IDEO's global community, giving them a methodology and a forum to collaborate, and giving consumers a voice in future financial services products. And of course, our Miracle Match program, which connects credit unions with Children's Miracle Network hospitals to directly help families so that they don't face financial hardship. I think most importantly, we don't want to jump to too many conclusions. We're going to commission some research so that we are sure that the type of efforts that we're putting out there really match up to where the impact is needed the very most. Purpose plays a part in everything we do at Co-op. It's a way we think, it's a way we approach our business, it's a way we approach products. We're designing those products to truly help people. We should think of purpose not only in terms of charity, but also in terms of how we promote the financial well-being of the member. Thinking this way leads to solutions like CardNav, the first product of its kind, by the way, in the industry. And what CardNav allows is putting security and financial control into the hands of the member. Features like the P2P function for giving that we've added to Sprig by Co-op, and the ability to use ShopSpot to donate your member rewards for a cause. Working with industry partners like the National Credit Union Foundation, RMJ, and CUNA, these collaborations will bring ongoing financial literacy expertise to our initiatives while we bring them to scale. So credit unions can achieve greater impact than ever before. We're calling this co-op purpose, but this is really repackaging and adding on to people helping people, which has existed within credit unions for decades. So we're so excited and so proud to be able to offer this for members so that they can thrive. What's really smart about Co-op Purpose is that it provides credit unions the tools to always live their mission. Magic happens when you actually show empathy. When you show empathy, people will care about you. And once people care about you, they will give you more business because there's trust. Wow. As you can imagine, we're very excited about Co-op Purpose, and I think that this announcement couldn't come at a better time after Gary Vaynerchuk's talk. At Co-op, we're trying to create turnkey solutions that we can bring to scale that help credit unions live their mission and tell their story. So we feel that initiatives supporting the program are going to be very beneficial for members in the credit union movement as a whole, and we hope you think that too. So as you heard Caroline say, we're advancing purpose to help you continue your mission of empowering people's lives and their financial well-being. We collectively have no greater cause than that. I think we all agree on that today. We had a lot of passion around that today. And as you saw in our video, there is a, there's a first set of initiatives that we are testing. You can see them right here, and we're going to tell you about one of them in just a moment. In virtually every ins instance, we're seeking opportunities that can help you reach your communities that you might not be able to reach through your traditional means. 
So importantly, I want to remind you that we're testing these. We're testing these initiatives in the pipeline, just as Gary just said. You've got to try 80 different messages, and that's what we're going to do. We're also working with a consulting firm called Mission Measurement. Perry Yateman, who you saw in the video this morning, or this morning, 2 o'clock, it feels like this morning, uh, will help us confirm the social issues that you and your members deem important. And it will be worthy of inclusion in our corporate social responsibility messaging and our plans. So that research has begun right here at Think. I don't know if Sophie Walker is in the audience, too, for Mission Measurement. She's going to be mixing and mingling among all of you to really listen to what's interesting to you. And in turn, we're going to talk to your members and see what's interesting to them so that we can really create things that connect. So through this research, we will create an impact and a measurement protocol that we can use to access the business and social impact of purpose um, in all of our purpose initiatives. So because we want to ensure that purpose-driven activities are having the desired impact on your communities, and at the same time, make sure that those initiatives are helping your credit union. As we heard at the beginning of the day, we want to help your credit unions grow. That's what Co-op is in business for. You helped start us 35 years ago. You collaborated to help connect yourselves together so that we could continue to help you be successful. And that's so you can help your members be successful. So I know that it's one thing I know that we can all get behind, and this is what this panel is going to talk about today, is the nurturing and growth of our children in school, and particularly those in need. Making sure that kids have the basic tools required to learn and create is as important as anything that we do in a, 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 as an investment in our future. So over the next few minutes, we'd like to introduce you to some of the players behind what we think is a completely innovative partnership. We hope you will, too. By the way, this is a partnership that took its first formative steps one year ago at Think 15. So since that time, we've begun to shape a program that we're calling the Credit Union and UB Classroom Initiative. I'm going to join Sarah and my friends, Ido Leffler from UB, CEO of UB. You may remember him from last year. And Irene Rodriguez uh, and Yvonette Gomez from USC Credit Union. And we're going to talk a little bit about the goals of this program. So you'll, if you'll indulge us, Sarah, I'd love for you to... Okay. Great. Ask so a little bit more we about only this. have about 10 minutes for four panelists. Well, let's see if we can um, farm some stuff. I just, first of all, Sam, um, Ida Leffler spoke last year, exactly one year ago at Think. Can you just tell us a little bit about that and what was the result of that talk? Well, it was funny, and then I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about it, but then Ida, I'd love your perspective on this. Um, Ida was talking about how small is really a, being, is our advantage, and he talked a lot about social mission and our purpose, and inside, my heart was exploding. I was thinking, this is our opportunity. We, we are small, we're nimble, we're agile, we can do things quickly, we can try things. And uh, I got a lot of phone calls, a lot of emails after uh, Think15 saying, wow, UB is a really cool company. This is something that I want to get involved in. How can we cooperate with this organization? And Ido happened to reach out to me and say, Sam, in every event that I speak, where I speak, I've never had so many people reach out to me, even college students that reach out to you and say, how can I participate? How can I donate? What can I do? How can I get involved? And so, the idea started to churn, and we've worked for a year to figure out how we could cooperate and bring something to scale. And so the Classroom Initiative was born. That's awesome. So, Ido, what was that like on your end? First and foremost, I was freaking out that I was wearing the same shirt that I was last year. Thank <laughs> God I'm not. I, I just saw that photo. It looks so good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, that's the most embarrassing thing you can do as a speaker, I think. Uh, well, look, I, I, it was funny walking in here and seeing so many familiar faces, particularly those that came up to me after the event and have been in contact, me, contact with me and the company throughout the year. Um, you know, it was funny hearing Gary and, and, you know, that gets a fire in your belly. And what got a fire in our belly was these kids out there here in the United States that just don't have supplies. And school teachers that spend $498 out of their own pocket on school supplies for their classrooms. My mum was a school teacher, and God knows she didn't have the money to buy supplies for her classroom, and she did. And there's no reason why kids in this country 
should go home and you know, be in families where their parents have to decide between a pen or putting a meal on a table. So we left this group, this amazing group, which, by the way, contrary to some of what Gary's saying, I was kind of eavesdropping to the people next to me, a third of this country puts their trust in. And over 800,000 new people joined just over the past, just at the beginning of this year, in January. This is a remarkable group. And this is a remarkable group that cares about the communities that you're in. And when I left you a year ago, we were helping at that point about 500,000 kids. UB is an organization at the time, I think, had about 15 people. We've grown. We're now 25. We now help in this past year, what we are now helping, and we'll announce it this week, we've just crossed 1.5 million kids that we're providing free school support. Now, that's thanks primarily to people like you. That's thanks to your customers, that's thanks to your clients, that's thanks to you who go into a store and buy a product. And we started talking about ways that we can collaborate. These guys got to experience, I believe, some of that. And I've got to tell you that if we play our cards right, and if this classroom initiative does what we really believe it can do, I firmly believe that in this room, you guys can sign up to help over a million kids a year. And you don't have to do very much. So to add on to that, the hope is not only that we help 1.5 million kids or 2.5 million kids with school supplies, but with also financial literacy kits. So the way that we've structured this program is that COP has kind of worked out the marketing and the legal and made it completely turnkey for your credit unions so that you can be a promotional partner with UB, gain the engagement and the cross-pollinization between UB's audience and a credit union audience, cross-promote UB and the credit union, and we will hit, we will help to sell UB product, which will then help our individual classrooms, helping credit unions to deliver and connect with, with schools. And it demonstrates how credit unions are helping their community. It's, a, it's what I like to call active branding. It's doing something that demonstrates who you are. And this is a, this is a brand that has incredible growth and following and sexiness that I'd love to have wash over credit unions. I can tell you, night, we all hear about the word millennial. We all think about millennials as being kids. Millennials are having children right now. They're having kids. I like to think of myself as a millennial. I get reminded by my wife that I'm not. <laughs> but millennials are having children. They are banking and they are banking hard. 92% of all millennials prof will choose to use or buy or interact with an organization that has a distinct cause linked to it. 92%. The other 8%, I don't know who they are. 92%. That, compared to the generation before, is an increase in 25%. 92%. That is an opportunity that you guys don't have. You can't miss that opportunity, and this is such a simple way to do that. Yeah, that's our I help. Mean, speaking of millennials and um, kind of how this plays out in membership, why don't we turn it to even at Nirene at the USC Credit Union, and can you guys tell us a little bit about why you wanted to align with UB and how that um, plays out in your membership? You want to take this? Or? Yeah. So, um, I mean, when, when Sam and the UB team came to us um, and talked about the initiative, we were very, very intrigued about it, but at the same time, we were very um, excited because we knew this was a great opportunity, um, an opportunity for, for us to involve our members, to um, expand our membership base, um, target millennials, which is 60% of our membership base are student alum, alumni of USC. Um, and uh, they were millennials, so they're already engaged, and they are uh, very pro um, with the causes. They're very involved with the causes the university supports. So we knew this was going to be a great uh, opportunity for us, and it was going to be very successful. 
Right, and, and it really, truly hit home for us because it's something that goes hand in hand with who the USC Credit Union is. We serve the faculty, staff, students, and alumni of the University of Southern California. And as Yvonette mentioned, uh, an approximate 60% of our, of our membership base are millennials. And um, I don't know how many Trojans are in this room, but the Trojan family is a real thing. I mean, our membership base gets behind these initiatives. And we saw this as a, a great way to launch an effective awareness of this great program and also get behind the credit union and uh, really just create a lot of excitement behind what UB is and what it can bring to the community surrounding USC and also get behind uh, uh, some of the initiatives that USC itself promotes. USC is very, very big on uh, providing services through uh, neighborhood outreach programs and funding many programs that benefit the community and this is another way to benefit our sponsor and get behind their initiatives. That's fantastic. So I'll throw it back to Sam for the last word. What else do we need to know about this now and kind of moving into the future? Well, we're testing it. This is not something that we're taking to scale right now. We want to test it and see if it's something that that USC likes, that they are, uh, that their members kind of, that resonates with their members. And um, we're, gonna, we're gonna give it a test, we're gonna give it a try. And co-op has done a lot of the heavy lifting to see if we can bring it to scale. The one thing about co-op, we reach a lot of consumers and a lot of credit unions. We have a way of bringing things to scale. So this is kind of part of our mission is to help you connect with your community and demonstrate your mission. And that's what's so wonderful about USC. They actually got uh, made it available for us to cross promote the, the UB program in the bookstores and um, in the USC uh, University bookstore, which creates just a campus wide a uh, CSR program that points to USC Credit Union as being this organization that helps the community and helps schools. And thanks to the National Credit Union Foundation, they have helped us find a curriculum that serves um, the target age of the kids who are receiving the school supplies. So every time a classroom pack is generated and is delivered to a school and a kid in need, if a Money Mammals financial literacy kit that is focused on kindergarten through third grade, um, they will get that from America's credit unions and then locally from USC in the, in the um, needy schools surrounding the university. That's awesome. Thank you so much, guys. And thank you, Ido. Thank you very much for sharing your experience with us. And if you want to learn more, um, you, if, there's, if this is something that you're interested or interested in learning more about, you can, there is a co-op purpose co uh, component in the app, and um, Alfonso can correct me, but I think you, there is a way for you to sign up and learn more. Um, so we'll push that out through um, Co-op Think Twitter, and you can also find it on the app so that you can sign up to learn more. And as we test this and see if this is something that um, is successful, we plan to roll it out across all of our credit unions. And there is nothing that I would love more than to come back here in a year's time, 24 months' time, and have a group of you come up on stage with me and having come with us into your community, gone to schools where 70% or more of the kids qualify for the free and reduced lunch program, and have handed out a box of supplies to that teacher and to that classroom, and to see the look on those kids' eyes as though you've walked in and it was Christmas. And it was the greatest moment of their educational career and they're only this big. That is the greatest feeling on earth. And you guys are so lucky that Co-op embraced this, did all the hard work. And they just, by the way, they deserve a big round of applause for doing this. They didn't need to do it. Um, to, do the, to do the legals behind it, to USC who have embraced it as a trial. We love you guys, you are amazing. And to, to understand that, that if we in one year have been able to impact a million kids since I sat here and spoke to you last, Imagine where we can be in 24 months. This is incredible, and, and we're very f humbled to even be in your company, so thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you so much, guys.